Welcome to your 4.04 .04 Creative Phytoplankton Lab. And for this lab, you need to have all your materials gathered. I have a bowl of water, my aluminum foil, some pennies, and my two flagella or paper clips. Also, my timer. I don't have a timer, so I'm going to use my phone. Most of you can do the same thing. For this lab, you want to have a phytoplankton that sinks slowly. How in the world are we going to do that? Well, I suggest using a base that floats and then adding weight to it. I'm going to start with a aluminum foil base. I know that floats and I want to remind you, these are my ideas. Please don't take mine. Use your own smart brain. You're much more creative. So think of your own phytoplankton that you can build. I'm going to create a radiolarian. It's going to kind of look like a star shape the best I can make out of foil. Okay, there's my makeshift radiolarian, and I want to add my flagella. So I'm going to unfold my paper clip, and the flagella are the two whip-like structures that I found on the dinoflagella flagella that help it to move. And this is, so I'm going to definitely have a dinoflagella flagella and not a diatom. I'm going to poke the hole and put it in. So it has the whip-like structure, or kind of like a tail, helps it swim. Unfold my second one. Our dino does have two whip like structures. And insert it into my, my phytoplankton, my dino flagella. Okay, so now I've got my phytoplankton ready. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my bowl of water. And oh my, it's just floating. There's no sinking happening whatsoever. That is where the pennies come in. I need to add some weight to make sure that it's going to sink slowly. Remember we started off with a base that will float. We're going to add weight to make sure it starts sinking slowly. Remember you have to have a very accurate count of the amount of weight you add because you have to repeat this trial five times for both air and water and then divide by five to get your average drop time. So I'm going to start my pennies. That's one, two, three, four, five. I'm not only moving anywhere yet, am I? So I'm not going to start timing until I start seeing it sinking. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You do want to give it some time to see if it will start sinking. I'm not seeing anything happen, so I'm going to keep going. Twelve, 13, 14, 15, nothing yet, 16, 17, 18. If I can get the water level to rise up in where I made these holes, that will help me start sinking. So I'm at 18 right now. 19, 20, I'm getting close. I might want to get my timer ready because it looks like it might be getting close. One, twenty-two, twenty-three. No water yet. I'm taking on twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Oh, I'm seeing water. But nothing's coming in yet, so I'm going to stop and restart. 31, 32, 33, and here it is. Now remember, after it sinks, I want to subtract 60 from the number.
Okay, so that took 21 seconds to sink. That's trial number one. I need to do this five times for the water and then divide by five. So it took me 21 seconds for this phytoplankton to sink. I'm going to now empty out all the water. I need to keep my 33 pennies and my, my dinoflagellates and drop it in the air and time how long it takes me from the air to get to the ground. This one's a bit tricky. You need to make sure you've measured how high up you are so you drop from the same spot every time, five times. All right, good luck. I know that now you've got some information. You can use your creativity. I look forward to seeing your awesome phytoplankton. Remember, I don't want to see my phytoplankton. I want to see your own. Good luck.